Welcome back everyone to another Aquilus Getting Started video. I'm Jeremy Hess, Head of Customer Education, and in our first video we went ahead and registered our Aquilus account, and we'll go ahead and see our vault there. And in this video we're going to talk about setting up and installing your CLI. So we're here at the docs page for the CLI, and of course the CLI is just another way to interact with your Aquilus vault. I'm going to go ahead and choose the correct operating system for us. We'll go ahead and download the package. And we're going to wait until this is done. Great. So now that that's done, we can go ahead back to our docs. We'll go ahead and grab the next command to make it an executable file. And of course, grab the last command to actually execute it and start our CLI. So the CLI starts in an interactive mode, and we're going to go ahead and uh, hit enter here just to give us the default URL. Configure a profile, yes, we need to do that. And here we're going to leave it default, we'll hit enter, but to keep in mind, uh, profiles are a way that you can interact with different accounts, different users uh, in the same terminal. So you can actually have multiple uh, access types within your terminal being saved as profiles, and you can actually create secrets and do different uh, have different interactions with the different profiles in your commands as well. You can put minus minus profile and choose the actual profile to be used for whatever action you're trying to do. Okay, so in this case, we're going to go ahead and choose the email password option. And here you want to put the same email and password that you used when setting up your Aquilas uh, vault registration at the beginning. So uh, once we have that information in, hit enter and we are going to also move that binary to the path and once that's done we are ready to go and the last thing we want to do is make sure that the vault is set up correctly and the way we do that is with a simple command we can go ahead and just run a keyless list items just to give us whatever items are in the vault currently which is very little as you can see it's just my first secret which is the default and this tells us that the account is working uh, and we successfully set up our CLI. So in our next video, we'll talk about how you can go ahead and create your first static secret, and we will see you in the next video.